Now Mark Twain said something to the effect of loyalty to the country always. Loyalty to the government only if they deserve it. And this goes uh, both for Barisan National and Pakatan. The reason I mention this is because this morning in the New Straits Times, our Defence Minister, Dr. Sri Zahid Hamidi, spoke to the military personnel and he said, military personnel must remain professional and loyal to the government. Now, first of all, there's a contradiction in terms. If you're professional, then you're loyal to only king and country. What shocked me, though, was that no less than a minister doesn't understand that the military, military's allegiance lies with king and country. That is my concern with the leaders presently in this country. They have forgotten some of the core issues, core values that are absolutely essential if you want to be a leader. Of course, we all know about integrity and transparency and so on. Yes, of course. I'm talking about more than that. The core values of a democracy. First of all, understanding what is a democracy. I don't think many of our leaders actually understand what it means. <laughs> what they forget is that this idea of loyalty to a government, I don't buy that idea. It is loyalty to the country that is a must. And we are all loyal citizens of this country, make no mistake. No matter who we vote for. And they must also understand that loyalty is earned. It is not demanded and it is certainly not bought. But loyalty to the country is a must. During the Bursay movement, we were often accused of being disloyal to the country. They, didn't, they don't understand the word loyalty. They don't understand who loyalty should be owed to. 